I don't make it a habit of delving into the reasons why a particular magistrate uh, rules the way that he or she might rule in any given case. Um, but what I understand from this case is that evidence was produced by the prosecution, by the police, uh, by the prosecutor, Ms. Alifa Elrington, to the effect uh, that those occupants in the vehicle were in possession of ammunition um, and the defense that was provided by the accused is that he reported back to duty. But from all accounts within the police department, uh, the accused was on official vacation. And so this case, and I'm pretty certain it will be appealed, this case will come down to that very point, whether or not Elmer Nah was in possession of that ammunition while on duty, as he is alleging, or whether he was in possession of that ammunition while on vacation, which is the prosecution's case. And so I don't want to comment further on that because that is the legal point that will be determined on appeal. Um, and so we will leave it at that. It would have been disappointing for me, uh, Dwayne, if it is that the prosecution did not proffer the evidence that is on the file, the evidence that they investigated, in my opinion, quite properly, um, and then led to charges. That would have been disappointing for me as minister. But at the end of the day, we have no control of, over how a magistrate is going to see things, uh, who she is going to believe on the stand, and what version of events she is going to, to believe in making her decision. And that's why I don't don't want to question uh, her decision. Again, that is a matter for a Supreme Court judge to look at on appeal.